Hello YouTube, welcome to Gaming House. I'm Biggs here, bringing you more Terrorist Hunt gameplay, realistic difficulty, with my friend House of Thebes. This video we're going to go ahead and go through Calypso Casino together, with one of our friends and a random. I'm going to start off here, I'm going to go ahead and head to the edge of the roof and provide some overwatch, while everyone else is going to go on the stairs to my left and head down. Now you'll notice there's a door to the right and a door to the left. Some people will go down the middle door. I wouldn't recommend it unless you got smokes and a shield because there's a long narrow pathway and a really bad door to go in, into. And the door on the right, I never see anyone go through that. Ever. Now House of Thieves is already further ahead than I am and he's already checking the center window for anyone that might have spawned there. And I do the same. That is entirely optional. You don't have to check that if you're up top on the roof, but it helps out people that are going down below so they're not completely sworn by enemies. Now House and I are going to go on opposite repels and go ahead and head down to the casino floor. And flip upside down because there's usually a, at least one guy here and there he is. I'm going to make sure it's clear real quick. Flip back over. Jump down and warp back up top, but still managed to reach in. It's an old game. There's glitches and all that bound to happen. Now he's going to keep going straight. I'm going to go ahead and hop here. See a guy, shoot him, keep going, and I'm going to fall back to where the House of Thieves is at. Both in the center here, we got guys that are repelling down and can come from the sides and straight ahead through that hallway. He's gonna sit here waiting for that guy to catch up to us. Keep scanning around because you never know when someone will pop up. All those bullets, and I couldn't even kill that guy, that was House of Thieves. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reload right here and start heading down this hallway. I check the elevator doors. Usually there's never a guy that spawns in one of those, but it does happen occasionally out of the blue. Pop smoke, open the doors. I'm going to get flashed right here. And when you get flashed, it's important to rely on your minimap there. Try and find a wall, maybe take cover against it. Well, hopefully you don't get shot. I lucked out there. We're gonna come down here, and I'm gonna post up behind that furniture there. And we're gonna go ahead and kill a few that are gonna spawn through there and come running out. And House of Thieves is gonna post up on the top of the escalators and watch the door we came through. Gonna go ahead. The sound cut it out there. I know you guys hear it, but it's pretty pretty weird. Again, old game. Glitches and stuff still happen. And we're gonna go ahead, keep moving through here. That's these peaks out. Check there, check there. Now, if you don't usually uh, kill a few at that spawn point, they're very likely to be on either sides of those halls. I keep my back to those bathroom doors. In case anyone opens those doors, uh, the door will open up into me, so I kind of know that there's someone behind me. Uh, again, that's one of the rare spawn points for enemies, but they can spawn there.
going ahead, we're going to keep moving through here, and we're going to post up and see what we can see in the vault before continuing down the hallway. House of Thieves is the one that's seen most of the guys over on the left side of the vault, so I'm going to go ahead and start heading down the hallway. Now, usually there are guys right around this corner. If you want to, go ahead and throw a frag, maybe shoot a round or two, and make sure they're spawned. In this case, there was only one guy. Sometimes it could be anywhere between one to four is the most I think I've seen there. We got company. Come around here, those guys spawn out. Get that one guy, which I could not hit. As you can see, going fully automatic with a machine gun is not very accurate, and you're going to see more of that in the rest of this video where I try to go automatic and it's just not working out. And here I'm just waiting for House of Thieves to catch up, because next we're going to go down that door right there into the surveillance rooms. Now, uh, you're going to want at least two smokes for here, or a shield, because even though we didn't have a whole lot spawned in these rooms, usually there's anywhere between three to four guys in like all corners of the room. Oh no, a shield. I guess that's where River died. Now House of Thieves is going to head into the vault. I'm going to go ahead and head up top here. See if anyone spawns. Sometimes they do. In this case, I didn't see anyone spawn, so I'm going to head and head down to House of Thieves there to back him up in the vault room. Go out to him, notice there's a guy there. Give him a little suppressing fire, and again, that uh that automatic fire, not very accurate. Now usually uh going through this map, there's good this is where we're gonna encounter the last group of enemies. If not, then you're gonna be have to running around the map a whole lot. Hoping to get the rest of them to spawn, or if they already did spawn and they're just hiding like one section of the map. Here we are, we're just going to creep, kind of waiting and hoping that they spawn for us. Guy spawns right there. I realize that crouching kind of stabilizes the machine gun there. And the remaining two are going to spawn here and try to kill us. Uh, ne one nearly kills me because, again, that automatic fire. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I got another one coming right up after a few hours of editing and commentary. So go ahead, tell me what you thought of the video, what you liked, what you didn't like, and please come on back over to Gaming House for more gameplay and commentary.